Hello fellow skating fans and friends, it's Justin here again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is a vlog of the 2019 Skate Canada International in Kelowna, British Columbia. Separate from a recap, I just wanted to show you the experience of attending a competition. I am starting off the video here in my Airbnb in Kelowna because I think it's so cute I wanted to give you all a tour and also I read the rules and it sounds like we're not allowed to take any videos of the actual competition so I'm gonna try to think of other footage to provide for you all maybe like conversations with friends in the concourse and whatnot but first here's a tour of my Airbnb because it's so cute so you walk in here's a door then here's the bed so adorable uh, by the way I filmed my makeup routine this morning and I'm going to upload that online very soon and then I will take off TV nice window view and then the bathroom is so cute so here's the shower and then here's a sink that's all my skincare makeup stuff is in the black bag oh and hello how are you it is just so adorable. I wanted to show this because I have not stayed in an Airbnb before today and so this is my first time and so far I really like it although I have watched some horror story videos on YouTube though but so far so good. So right now I am just waiting to upload the makeup tutorial and then I'm gonna pick up my friend Eleonora. She's visiting from Italy so it's great to see her again and then we'll be at the arena so keep on watching. Oh I did forget to say some skaters I'm most looking forward to seeing this weekend. Number one, duh, my favorite skater Gabrielle Dalman of Canada. I'm really sad that Aurora Kotop withdrew due to an injury but I'm so excited to see Veronique Malay's programs. I love both of them really. The short, especially to True Colors from Cindy Lauper. Uh, who else? Nam Nguyen is one of my favorite male skaters of Canada, so I'm excited to see him. And oh yeah, one of my favorite skaters is also from Malaysia, so it's Julian ZGE. I'm so excited I get to see him again! And also, I'll just be rooting for a lot of the skaters, so I know Aaron Conley wanted me to scream for Caitlin Hawaiik and Jean-Luc Baker, Naomi, I have to scream for Kirsten Moore Towers and Michael Marinero, and I, ha I think I have a few more I need to scream for my friends on Twitter, but I'm so excited to be here and to cheer for everybody. Hey, Eleonora. <laughs> All right. So you're not skating. No. No. <laughs> These are my flowers for Gabby. Ventilating. I just gave Gabrielle Delman her flowers. She skated an amazing short program. I'm so proud of her. I'm happy I got to hug her. We hugged really tight. Gabby, good luck in the long. That was so amazing. <laughs> Hello. Sorry I did not vlog any footage earlier. It was crazy getting into the arena. Parking sucks in downtown Kelowna, FYI. <laughs> there was such a long line to get into the building, but I made it in just before the short dance began. Oh, sorry, rhythm dance. Oh, I missed the first group? Yeah, I think so. Totally? I think so. Oh. Yes, because I think I saw the second group warm up, so I caught like yeah. one or two teams. Yeah, yeah but uh, highlights so far, if you didn't catch it, I gave Gabby Dalman her flowers. Apparently, I made it onto the stream. So if you watch that, that was me. I gave Gabby such a big 
tight squeeze. It was so great to see her skate and do well. I'm officially her number one fan. Don't you all forget. And I'm here with my friend Eleonora. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna let Eleonora talk about the dance because she loves ice dance. So, can you recap how ice dance was? Well, what happened was it was very interesting. We had two American teams, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, front runners did not do as well as they were expected to do, but still got a pretty massive score. So that was interesting. I do love that team. I just, I'm not totally convinced about their short dance, but uh, I prefer Hawaii and Baker, and they got a really big reaction from the crowd. Yes. As well. So that's surely an indicator that, you know, a program is well choreographed. Mm -hmm. So for sure. And, you know, there were other... I like the British. Yeah, I was going to say, there were other great teams as well that are not so usually so popular, but the British really sold their program and it was a really original, really worked well with the music, perfectly timed and, you know, in terms of pin, a pin step, I thought they had the best, honestly, the, the cleanest. Really? So, yeah. Excellent. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> For me... For me, I enjoyed, actually I think I enjoyed most of the rhythm dancers in the second group. They're all very entertaining, you know. We have our personal opinions about yeah. Madison and Zach, yeah. you know, free dance, but they are good skaters, I can yeah. notice that watching. And then the ladies, wow, Rika Kihir of Japan, massive score of 81. Oh that was a, so, 81. So too. I mean, she did amazing. That triple axle was huge. Yeah. And, you know, can I have you hold this? My hands shake. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> her triple then, axle was so big. And I actually really, really like her show program music a lot. Brady Tunnell, you know, I said that she did really well at Skate America last week. I think the program is so much more amazing to see in person. I'd be interested to look at the protocols to see why she scored a little lower this week than last week because she got 75 last week and 72 here. But that was really great to see. Um, Evgenia Medvedeva, that was some really unfortunate mistakes. That fall looked like it hurts. Yeah. And then Gabrielle Dalman, I said that. I'm still on a high. I just a little bit came down. Not totally. <sighs> what, do you have any opinions about the ladies? I was really sorry to see I was really sorry to see Evgenia sort of have such a hard time. Yeah. Because it seems like, I thought, well, it will take some time, you know, to get used to the new coaching situation and the new coach. Although it's been a year. But it's been a year, that's mm -hmm. the thing. So I'm, I'm kind of wondering, you know, will she ever make it back, you know, the way, the, the Evgenia we know. And I think she's expected to. Yeah. So. The thing is, and there was also the, you see these young Russian girls coming in, I mean, look at Rusova, I mean, mm -hmm. she was pretty, you know, technically pretty impressive. Um, you know, it's difficult to say I'm not a fan when you have these young girls competing because they're so, you know, fresh. But the thing is, um, I feel like the Russian team is just, you know, putting these girls out there, you know, making them do quads and... And the question is, is it healthy? Yeah. That's yeah, is it the smart choice? Thing. Yeah. Necessary. Right. Well, as you can see here, they are doing a Zamboni. All right, so we get a little bit of a break. So we'll try to eat. I'm hungry. And then the opening ceremonies begin in about an hour. Korean girl was also very good. Oh, the first Korean girl, yeah. She, yeah. Ooh, she was gorgeous. Yes. Wasn't it, was her music Black Swan? No, that was the second one. Oh, the second, okay. Yeah, the first one, I can't remember, but it was, you know, she was in the first group, and yet I liked her more than the skater, the Korean And skater. she had a really high score, I do remember yeah. that, yeah, so. She was fantastic. Yeah. And she uh, has a, a name that is sort of famous, Kim. <laughs> yeah, the Kim. The Kim. Okay, so we don't know if we're gonna watch the opening ceremony, but we at least need to get some food. I do. So, talk to you later. Yay for meeting Twitter friends. Hey! Billy, I have Billy here. What do you think of the event so far? I like it. I would have liked for some of my favorites to perform a little bit better, but Who are I'm hopeful for Kenya. Oh, Kenya. Yeah. So, hoping for a better free guys, but so I, mean, we were talking, I really like it. Yeah, we were talking about the Marin. 
I thought she did really well, but the score so low. So something was yeah, called she doubled. under. She doubled. I missed you the double. Get short. No, you can't. <laughs> you get zero points. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. So she looks great though. Like she busy. does always. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping for a better breed for all the ladies. Is this one of your first game competitions? No, you oh, go no, to a lot. Oh no, we go to a lot in the states. The first one in Canada. Huh? Oh. Welcome to Canada. Yeah. I'm an honorary Canadian. Now, so it seems, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've enjoyed it so far. Though. Awesome. I finally found a power outlet. Uh. Alrighty. Sitting on the floor. Not very comfortable, but it will do for now. We just finished with the pair short programs, and I gotta say, Kirsten Moore Towers and Michael Marinero did a strong job ending out the night. I think it was the season's best score for them. So it was really, really lovely. It was nice to see Kirsten in a midnight blue colored dress. The Russians were also really good. Uh, both the Russian pairs, very impressive. And uh, there's a Chinese pairs that were really good as well. But yeah, now it's just ice resurfacing before the men's short program. Looking forward to most, Nam Nguyen of Canada and then Julian ZGE of Malaysia. Yay! The aftermath of day one. All of the short programs are complete. Eleanor and I are just waiting for the arena to empty out a little bit so we don't walk out with the crowds. And oh, wow. What is your takeaway from today? My takeaway from today is, uh, gosh, I have some favorites and they didn't do extremely well. I mean, in the past, I love the Russian team over Kenya and Vlad. They were a little maybe offbeat today. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, my boy Matteo, unfortunately, didn't no. do very well at all. He's a beautiful skater, though. Yes. We can appreciate that. But hopefully, and you know, it's not easy to skate after Yuzuru Hanyu, so hopefully he'll do better tomorrow. That's, That's right. All we can hope for. Let's see about me. I'll give you the camera. Yeah. So. You know what I thought about today? Mm. I am amazed every time I see Yuzuru Hanyu skate. Like, you see his performances online, and you know they're great. It's just something different in person. And it's been a while since I've seen him skate live, so I was reminded of that today. Yeah. yeah. And with the men's Nam Nguyen, my favorite's Nam Nguyen of Canada, and Julian from Malaysia did really well. Oh, he was amazing, wasn't yeah. he? Julian was the first to skate. And he did so well. Yeah, I had to correct someone who posted on social media who said the first group of men were disastrous, and I went, <gasps> Not the first skater, Julian. And his program was so original and yes, beautiful and flowy. Program. Yeah. So yeah, tomorrow's a long day. I'm not sure I'm looking forward to the amount of hours we'll be in the arena, but it should be some exciting stuff. I will show you all my sign I made for Gabby tomorrow. You can't make fun of it because I have zero artistic ability, but it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm ready for food. Let's get tired. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it is day two of Skate Canada. I'm ready for all of the free skates. Yes, I have a bold smoky eye in support of Gabrielle Daleman. Her makeup is always on fleek. And I'm excited, but it's going to be a long day. Obviously, the free programs are longer than the short. And on the second day, they have the medal ceremonies. So it's going to be a lot to take in yesterday when... The competition completed. I went out to dinner to Thai food with some friends that was delicious. Then I came to my room and I just crashed. So I did not have time to analyze any of the results, but I'm gonna try to film a recap before I drive out Sunday morning because I have a busy work week once I get back home. And if I don't do it Sunday, I probably won't get to it much sooner. So that's one thing, when you attend a competition, you're not always readily going to see what the protocols are on your phone. I think some people are, me, not so much. When I'm watching figure skating at home live, I have like two different browsers on, like the Twitter feed with the hashtag, then me tweeting, and then I need a screen to watch the skating. But here at the competition, it's nice to put your phone down and just focus on the skating. If anything, I'll tweet about what I just saw after the skaters complete their programs. 
I haven't seen any of the protocols, analyzed the results. I'm just soaking in the competition. Maybe my recap will be a little bit more casual than I usually do them. I'm out to grab breakfast, so keep on watching to see how day two goes. On our way to the arena! Thanks for holding my coffee. Such a beautiful day. We are early today because yesterday it was madness coming to the arena just on time. Hello. Oh, and here with the light. Hello. I have my sign. I will not show it to you just yet. Wait a couple minutes longer into this video. And I'm walking backwards. I'm so thankful for the weather today though, yes. Lenora. Yes. It is not freezing, it's just a light breeze, just a little chill. Prospera place. Who wants to go to Worlds with me in Montreal? Hey Nathan! Sway and Han. Why hello! 2019 Skate Canada International Gold Medalist Piper and Paul. This is Canada merch. Kirsten and Michael. And it is Gabby Daleman, my favorite skater. Don't worry, you know that I already got a photo of that. <laughs> Take a look at my sign, Gabby's number one fan. I think that is me. Gold medal, representing Japan. En premier place, et gagnant de la médaille d'or, représentant le Japon, Yuzuru Anyu. Ladies and gentlemen, we present your medalists. Mesdames et messieurs, vous 
competition is over. It was so much fun. It was a good night. Hi. Mai, what was your biggest takeaway this weekend? Oh my gosh. Um, it was a good competition. The men thrive. I'm really happy at the podium. I'm so happy to see you soon live again. Um, He's so good. He's uh. so good. Mai's a real skating fan, wow. Uh, yay! Woohoo! And um, Mai and I are both from Washington State, but we only meet up at competitions. What's up with that? I don't know. Well, it's a, it's a skating fan thing. I know, yeah. <laughs> yay! Thank you, Mai. Hey, guys. Uh, the competition is over. I just filmed a little bit of the medal ceremony for the men's and Yuzu Rohanyu of Japan. Wow, wins Skate Canada International for the first time in his career, so it's a big deal, but overall amazing performance. And Nam Nguyen was absolutely engaging with the audience. Nam is one of my favorite male skaters out there. And I'm going to save my opinions on some of the skaters because that should be um, said during a recap. But yeah, I'm ending the vlog here because tomorrow I will drive back home to Seattle. I won't attend the gala, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fun for anyone else who gets to go. Um, I'm sorry if there's not a lot of footage for this vlog as I'm not allowed to film the actual competition, but I hope you all enjoyed it so much. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in my next recap. Thank you.